These are the 12 cranial nerves. I'm going to go through them individually. The first one is Old Factory. There's this Old Factory that makes uh, perfume. So you use that to smell. So cranial nerve number one, Old Factory, smell. Now the second one is Superman. Superman is known for his vision. He can see through walls, right? So cranial nerve number two is optic, and that's for vision. Number three, this one, as we mentioned, there's a whole bunch of different movements. Up, down, up, and inward. And there's a whole bunch of motors doing this. So number three is ocular motor. Upward, medial, downward, up and in. Now the only one it doesn't do is down and inward. And for that one, number four, down and in, trochlear. Number five, go ahead and touch your forehead, touch your cheek, and clench your teeth. When you touch your forehead, your cheek, and your teeth, kind of make a triangle. And cranial nerve number five is trigeminal. So tri, triangle, trigeminal. You're going to look side to side. And by doing this, you're abducting the eyes from a position to the extreme, left and right. So since you're abducting, the eyes from the normal position, it's abducence. Number six. Another way to remember this, the word ab, like a six pack, you know, somebody who's got muscles. So abducence, ab six pack, cranial nerve number six. The next one is a smiley face. And with the smiley face, go ahead and stick out your tongue and smile. This is number seven. Seven is facial. It the taste for the anterior two thirds of the tongue, the part that sticks out. That's what you taste with and smile. Now another way to remember this: you have two ears, two eyes, one nose, one mouth, and one tongue. So that's seven objects. You can pick any other seven objects as far as your face goes, but remember seven facial and remember to smile. Now the next one is number eight. Now this guy is pretty old, he's 80 years old, and he has a really hard time hearing. And he also has eight different colored canes. So it's number eight for acoustic, and this is used for hearing and equilibrium. That's why he needs his eight canes. The next one also has to do with the tongue, but instead of the anterior, it's the posterior, so the back portion of the tongue, one third of the tongue. Now this one, it's a really long name and it usually takes, you know, a very long time. Um, I normally say, you know, nine minutes to say it. And that's of course an exaggeration, but it is nine, which is glossopharyngeal, long word. So it takes nine minutes to say it, very long word. So again, number nine is the posterior one third of the tongue, this is used for speech and taste, and it takes nine minutes to say it. Glossopharyngeal. So go ahead and take your time when you do that one. Now we're going on to number 10. Number 10 has to deal with digestion and slow heart rate. Number 10, since it has to deal with digestion, vagus rhymes with anus, and you use this for defecation. So remember, 10, vagus, rhymes with anus. This is for digestion, which leads to defecation, and this also uh, for the slowed heart rate. So we're moving on. Now, number 11, I don't know. I don't know what number 11 is. With this one, go ahead and shrug your shoulders, and this is for spinal accessory. So number 11, I don't know what it is. Shrug your shoulders for spinal accessory. Now, the next one, it's really hot day. So it's a really hot day, 112 degrees outside. You're trying to cool yourself off. This is the 12th ice cream cone you've had. So it's cranial nerve number 12. This is the hypoglossal, which is for tongue movement. Since it's so hot, you're trying to eat all of your ice cream. You don't want any of it to melt or get on your clothes or nothing like that. So you're eating this ice cream as fast as you can. So you're licking the ice cream trying for it not to melt in the 112 degree weather. This is your 12th ice cream, so you're doing really good. And number 12, hypoglossal. 
and that is all 12 cranial nerves.